welcome to DJ Live this 17th day of August 2021. In this channel, we analyze uh, global diplomatic developments, political issues, social matters, and any other matters uh, that are of interest uh, to me and you. For those joining us for the first time, uh, please subscribe below uh, to enable us to um, inform you uh, whenever a new video uh, is uploaded. Uh, today I want to talk about um, whatever is going on in Afghanistan. Um, of course, uh, we have seen uh, that the US, uh, the Biden administration um, decided to continue with um, uh, the decision of uh, the former President Trump, uh, that is to withdraw all American forces uh, from Afghanistan. Originally, we thought that um, uh, maybe at the onset of the Biden administration, that this was one of the things that they would reverse um, or um, uh, possibly do in a much better way. But uh, uh, of course, this is one of those, uh, the, tr the Trump policies um, that uh, the Biden administration decided uh, uh, to embrace. Um, of course, you are aware that uh, President Trump uh, was was able to hold talks with the Taliban. Um, they held talks with the Taliban, and um, they signed an agreement to be able uh, to evacuate its soldiers uh, uh, by May first deadline. Um, of course, Trump, uh, as you know, he had his uh, America first policy. Um, and he rightfully said that uh, we cannot continue. They cannot continue fighting um, somebody else's war, you know, uh, that the war in Afghanistan, the civil war in Afghanistan um, was not in the interest of the American people. Um, we know that the U.S. was spending uh, a lot of dollars, you know, to sustain uh, the, their puppet government in Afghanistan. And um, eventually, um, uh, when uh, President Biden came to power, of course, he was faced with, uh, with this decision, whether to continue this uh, Trump policy uh, of leaving Afghanistan or come up with his own uh, policy um, in Afghanistan. Um, we saw, of course, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, the, the, that the administration, the Biden administration, uh, made a decision uh, that they will be withdrawing uh, from Afghanistan. Um, the reasons for this, um, you know, was well explained, and uh, uh, I agree with uh, those reasons. That uh, uh, I think that uh, the reasons why the U.S. went into Afghanistan, uh, they basically went uh, to. Uh, to locate um, uh, and to punish, you know, the Al Qaeda, um, uh, you, you know, the Osama bin Laden-led Al Qaeda, um, which was responsible, you know, for the September 11th um, uh, bombing of the Twin Towers in New York. Um, as you uh, may uh, have known, uh, that Osama bin Laden uh, moved from Sudan and was given safe haven. Uh, by the Taliban uh, in Afghanistan, and um, they requ they refused, you know, the U.S. request uh, to hand over Osama bin Laden, and this is what led uh, to President Bush' decision uh, to drive out the Taliban-controlled uh, 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 Afghanistan government. Um, fast forward, it has been 20 years um, of uh, uh, U.S. presence in Afghanistan, the U.S. government has spent trillions of dollars, a lot of money, uh, to be able to recruit and train the Afghanistan uh, uh, soldiers, the Afghanistan uh, forces, um, and uh, therefore uh, it was a surprise to everyone in the diplomatic community um, when, after uh, the ta Taliban, of course. Um, the moment the U.S. Uh, withdrew, uh, the Taliban started marching, 
uh, and taking uh, over, basically capturing the cities uh, that they, they lost. They captured Kandahar, they captured several other uh, provinces. And uh, then they waited outside Kabul, the capital city of uh, Afghanistan. Uh, it was the expectation that the, the Biden administration uh, would uh, 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 evacuate all uh, U.S. nationals, all the foreign nationals, and even the Afghanistan citizens, you know, those who have been serving as translators, um, uh, you know, in Afghanistan uh, to the U.S. Uh, the U.S. Um, uh, uh, soldiers. Uh, it was the expectation that these, um, these people, you know, whose lives would be at risk, uh, you know, under the Taliban would be given um, asylum in the government. So it was ex widely expected that uh, um, the U.S. administration would be able to evacuate all of these people before, uh, you know, uh, leaving uh, uh, Kabul. But this was not to be. Um, and uh, you, we saw that the government of, uh, of uh, Ashraf Ghani, you know, <laughs> Uh, basically ran away to save his life. He, he quit, he abandoned government. Um, and, um, he, you know, he just, he just ran away and, and left the people. He left the women, he left the children. You know, he just ran away to save his life, leaving the people. Um, and that is why, uh, you know, when I saw the condemnation um, that was being uh, leveled towards, you know, President Joe Biden, and um, I was watching his speech last night, where he said that the, he was not uh, willing to let American soldiers, more American life, be lost in Afghanistan. Uh, you know, uh, American soldiers to die in a war uh, that the Afghanistani army themselves were not willing uh, uh, to die for. Um, he said, and rightfully so, that uh, it looks like... Um, these Afghanistan soldiers, which the U.S. government has trained, you know, the U.S. administration has spent trillions. You know, they're actually more than um, 181,000 soldiers and um, almost 300,000 are available for deployment. Compare that to the Taliban of around 75,000. Um, uh, Taliban doesn't even have, they don't even have an air force, but the equipment um, that uh, the Afghanistani army had. They had airplanes, they have, you know, all sorts of, uh, uh, of, uh, of military equipment, of course, provided by the U.S. government. Uh, but it looks like these soldiers were not willing to die for their country. Uh, so for me, as much as you are blaming the Biden administration, uh, I take the blame squarely to the Afghanistani people, to the government, the cowardly government of uh, Ashraf Ghani, you, you know, who instead of standing firm and defending democracy, defending the children, defending the women of uh, Afghanistan, he basically ran away, you, you know, um, he, you know, ran away like uh, all the others. And um, he quit government and um, he let the Taliban people just come and, uh, and take over. And um, the, the, when I saw, uh, of course, yesterday I saw Ahmed Karzai, the first uh, president, you know, with his daughters, come come out. He's still in Kabul. He didn't run away. He's still there. So I was comforted that we have at least some brave people in Afghanistan who are not afraid of the Taliban. So my advice um, uh, to the government and to the global community is, uh, is that it looks like the Iraqi, sorry, the Afghan army do not love, they're not patriotic enough, they don't uh, love Afghanistan, uh, you know, so much. They, they don't, um, they're not ready to die for their country. And looks like, um, you know, the Taliban are willing, you know, it looks like the Taliban love, the, the, la, love Afghanistan more than the Iraqi National Army, uh, sorry, the Afghan National Army, more than um, uh, the likes of Ashra, Ashraf Ghani. And um, in this case, I, I, I think um, it's, it's important now that the U.S. government starts engaging with the Taliban. Um, the Taliban, I think, was created, um, and uh, they were not born Taliban. 
I think we we should be able to give them a chance, you know, to transform themselves. You know, now that um, we are in charge of that country, uh, let us challenge them uh, to be responsible. We'd like to let them, uh, to see them allowing girls, you know, uh, to go to school, allowing women to work. And I, I saw one of the spokesmen, you know, you know, saying that they will be, uh, they will allow women to go to work, they will allow girls to go to school. And so for me, I believe that uh, since these are human beings, um, and any human being, you know, even though they were uh, out maybe fighting a uh, guerrilla warfare, uh, now that they're in charge of that country, I think we should be able to give them a chance, rehabilitate them uh, uh, to become, uh, you know, uh, uh, basically to stop their own isolation um, and uh, working with the international community. Uh, let us um, uh, ensure that uh, the women of Afghanistan are safe, that the children of Afghanistan are safe, uh, so that we stop this um, uh, idea of people struggling to leave uh, to other countries. So mine is to request the ta Taliban administration uh, to put in place uh, human security, ensure that life goes on uninterrupted.